What's up, Volvo Monkeys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna cover five or six updates to Navy Fed. So I think what we're gonna start doing is a quarterly update, uh, if necessary, to uh, Navy Federal. So this is the quarter one, 2023 Navy Federal update. We're gonna cover everything, basically. Everything that we've gotten information and firsthand data on from the uh, community, uh, we're gonna go ahead and share with you. And then obviously this will act as a means of uh, clarification on some things too. First thing, speaking of clarification, so we uploaded this video that you're looking at right here, which is like an hour, uh, no, two hours of every single video that we ever published. Understand that we're, you know, we're learning as we're going to with all of this. And so information that was said in the very beginning of some of those videos, you know, all the way back to 2021, some of that's not relevant. Some of that's changed, right? And uh, obviously we continue to learn with our approach and, and our data, right? So the thing though that I found interesting is that we covered a wide range of case studies and we do that on purpose. We covered case studies where it was clear that the person put in way too much effort and they didn't need to do pledge loans and they didn't need to do all these money market accounts and all this stuff, right? They could have just gone in cold or less than that and gotten a card still. And then we had people that did do that and they went in cold and they didn't have any uh, transactional history, let's call it, uh, not even direct deposit and they walked out with a 15, 20K card. The point of showing that whole you know, spectrum of uh, responses and, and experiences is so that you could kind of piece together based out of that. One of the things I was hoping that people would piece together is that like, look, if you've got a lower credit score, you should probably do more. If you're, you know, 680s or, you know, lower, you should probably do more transactional history with them. And then if you have a prime or above credit score, you should probably do less because you don't need as much. So somebody with a higher credit score, a more advantageous credit profile does not need to do the same amount of work and effort. And this is this should be true for every bank as somebody with a subprime credit score. Now these are these are just norms of the industry itself. So I don't know, it, it was just kind of weird to see some of the um, like there's a lot of opinions in the comment section and a lot of people kind of missed the boat on it. So the reason why we showed so many examples is so that you could hopefully you know, piece together the deeper structure of what we showed you to come to some of these conclusions yourself. So to clarify, what I would suggest, and again, you can listen to me or not, is if you've got a subprime credit score, you should probably work more on transactional history with Navy Fed or any bank. And if you have a prime or above, those things are probably not as important. Cool. So down in the middle, that's what I would suggest. Next, let's talk about the Go prepaid credit cards or excuse me, Go prepaid debit cards. Now, this is it right here on the website. So it is a real thing. I know that people get confused about it. This is a reloadable debit card and the total credit limit can be up to $10,000, meaning you can hold $10,000 on that card. You see right here, it says debit. Okay, so we shot this video right here. Is the Navy Fed loophole closing? And the loophole is the ability to be able to uh, do essentially an ACH without it being coded as a cash advance when you're moving money off of a credit card to the prepaid debit cards. Now, the more that we talk about this, the more it's gonna bring unnecessary attention, so I'm not trying to um, talk a bunch about it, but essentially, you can move money off of your credit card onto the debit card, and it uh, shows up as a regular ACH uh, transaction. Now, what we've heard is that originally in the email that we got, which I showed in that last video, is that March 31st, uh, 2023, is they're gonna make changes to how some of the transactions are coded. There was talk if the Go prepaid card is gonna be included or not. So I've got two sources to now show you. One saying yes, one saying no. Again, it was both from this video right here in the comments, you can look and find these. So here's the first one. Here's Hugo saying that, hey, he talked to Phoebe and she claims that yes, there's gonna be changes. Next, here is Sin96, who I believe runs a Facebook group or something. Shout out to you, my friend. Always contributing uh, positively in the comments with uh, Navy Fed videos. And he said that uh, he talked to somebody in the actual Go prepaid card department and they said that there's not gonna be any changes. So where we are is nobody knows and we're going to have to wait. So the thing I will say though is that uh, when you do these, these payments and you load from your credit card to the uh, debit card is it will show up as a cash advance while it's pending and then it will just settle as an ACH. Now another quick change is that you used to be able to uh, fund 10K, now it's capped at 5K. Uh, that happened, I think, within the last 60 or so days. Don't quote me on that, though. Next is personal checking lines of credit, or LOCs. Used to be 15,000, now the max is 5,000. Again, I don't know when that change took place either. I just noticed it, and somebody brought it up in the community recently, so I figured I'd mention that, too. Next is a very hot topic, which is what is the max exposure rate? You can have upwards of three cards with Navy Fed, and the most you can get on a flagship card is 80,000. The most you can get on all the other cards from what it looks like, and confirmed from a Navy Fed staffer, 
uh, in the comments section, I don't know if they actually work for them or not, is 50,000. So on all the other cards, 50,000, uh, and then on the flagship, 80,000. So to clarify, max limit, 80,000 on the flagship, but it's also 80,000 across the board, unless this has changed. It used to be 80,000 max exposure. So that's on one card, across three cards, doesn't matter. So now let me show you the screenshots. The first here is the supposed Navy Fed employee. I'm not really sure if he is or not. Uh, so all the cards except flagship, max 50K, which again, we've had this confirmed now from several different sources. So this is just kind of like icing on the cake at this point. And then the flagship, you can have 80K. Okay, next is here's the proof of somebody having, uh, here's showing 78,100. This was American Hero, shout out to you. Thanks for sending me the screenshots. And then he went ahead and sent me, there it is. The update, he went ahead and got it maxed out at 80,000 um, available credit, which you can see cash advance is 24,000. He can pull off of that at an interest rate of 13.49%, not bad. And his regular interest rate is 11.49%. We shared this in a short. The short was taken down from YouTube. I don't know why for like harmful content and then they reversed it later. So thank you for that. That was weird. Uh, and then a lot of people in the comments were saying, oh, it's fake. And, and maybe he combined a bunch of cards and did, um, you know, moved his limits uh, and did product changes to push it all to his flagship. He might have, but I doubt it. You can just focus on hyper focus on one card and maybe he did that. I don't know the whole story. I'd love to hear it uh, of the whole journey itself. But you know now, because you see right in front of you that the flagship card can go up to 80,000 and somebody in the world actually has it, which uh, I don't know, for a while, I think people were doubting that that was even possible. Okay, next is the uh, auto loan. So we've got some data points from somebody who essentially got approved for a loan, but didn't take it. And uh, they, first off, they used the FICO 98 model. That is a actual model. It's an older one. I think we'll probably dig uh, deep dive into that and maybe do a video on it. We do have a video on the channel covering all the other FICO models that I think is everything outside of that. And so you can check that out and it explains even uh, FICO 10 and 10T. So, okay, back to the auto loan though. So you can get a max of 50,000. Now, some people say to just go ahead and try and get the max and then they will come back Back and say what they can give as a you know a maximum for you i tend to lean more towards probably just ask for what you need and then go from there right now the good news is is that they will give you um, based on your credit worthiness not based on the car a lot of auto loan programs will lend based on the car itself a lot of them have restrictions on like it can only be within the last 15 years it can't be more than 20 years old uh, 100 000 miles 200 000 miles whatever so all those variables range um with navy fed their their auto loan program is so dialed in it's not even funny so I think their max is like 150 or 200,000 miles and it's at least 15 years, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong uh, or if you've got better data than that. But yeah, uh, they'll also go up to 125% loan to value. So, I mean, it's good. It's it's really, really good. And you'll walk out of there with a check and you know money in hand essentially uh, once, once the deal is done. So that I like and it's super fast and dialed in. Unlike their personal loan program, which isn't the rates aren't that competitive, but again, super fast gets put into your account right away. Okay, next, let's talk about business credit cards. Now, not much has changed here, but we did a couple videos last year and uh, they might've snuck by you and you might not have seen them. So I'll cover it again real quick. Uh, they have two cards. It's the GoBiz MasterCard or the GoBiz Visa. Now, both of them are just going to have the perks of Visa or MasterCard backing itself. Uh, but they're essentially the same card. So the reward structure and, and the, the point structure to it is the exact same. So. What I'm showing you on screen is probably the best example we have of showing a fresh -er LLC that's not, you know, years and years old. It uh, doesn't have a ton of uh, earnings on it yet. And then they were able to go out and get uh, credit on it. Now, please understand that you can go out and get credit with a 685. 685 is the minimum and you could just uh, PG on all your business cards if you wanted to, but you're not gonna get that great of limits and you're probably gonna struggle quite a bit. Maybe they'll want more and more proof of income on you personally and you'll have to jump through more hoops. Once you're over 700, 720, you tend to get more options and you tend to get better limits. So the thing I wanted to show you is right here at the bottom. If approved for both Visa and MasterCard, which can happen, the total expense Exposure will be split between the cards. I also believe that this is true across multiple businesses as well. Don't know, but basically, uh, I think what happened was he got approved for 15K and then they put seven and a half on one and seven and a half on the other. So anyways, great example of the business credit side. You know, that is alive and well. I know that business credit is a hot topic right now. Okay, next, business checking lines of credit or business LOCs. Now, uh, they do offer these. They have three different options, a 500, a thousand, and a 5,000. Now, this rate is not that great. This is an example of what somebody got offered. It is a hard pull, by the way, and you do have to fill out a business application, but they got approved for $1,000 at 17.9%, uh, and it actually has an annual fee as well. So not that great of an option. And then wrapping up, uh, if you're interested in CDs and trying to offset inflation or uh, interest rates, well, here's an option for you, is a minimum of $50 
Navy Fed has a CD. It's for 15 months and they will pay you 5% APY. All right, that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you got data points that I missed or would like to add something, comment below. We'd love to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet. Right there. Okay, bye.